Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2018 slot 1 DILR says that there is an n cross n square matrix. It has to be filled with numerals so that no two adjacent cells have the same numeral. So adjacent cells should have different numbers. Two cells are called adjacent if they touch each other horizontally, vertically or diagonally. So a cell in one of the four corners has three adjacent cells to it and a cell in the first or last row or column that is not in the corner has five adjacent cells to it. Any other cell has eight adjacent cells to it. Now we have to find the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a three cross three square matrix. So we have a three cross three square matrix. We need to find minimum how many numbers can we fill. Maximum we can fill 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But we need to find the minimum. So minimum means we will try to use as less digits as possible. Now if we use 1 here, we cannot use 1 in these 3 places. So, but we can use 1 here. Okay, which makes, uh, which makes it possible to use 1. Now we have used 1 here. We cannot use 1 here. We can use 1 in this cell. Now we have used 1 in this cell, we cannot use 1 here, we can use 1 in this cell, okay. So we can see that we can use 4 ones, one of the ones here, another here, third and fourth, so that no condition is violated. Now we will try to put the next number that is 2. If you have put 2 here, we cannot put 2 in these 3 cells, that means 2 can be put here. Now we need to pick, put the next digits. We can put 3 here, okay, it's a fresh digit, so it will not have any constraint. We cannot put 3 here, we will put 3 here. Next we can put is 4. So minimum we can put is 4 numbers. What is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a 5 by 5 square matrix? Now the matrix has become larger. Let us put the numbers, let us follow the same thing which we did in the previous case, 1, 1, 1, alternate, then 1, 1, 1, alternate, similarly 1, 1, 1, okay, so it, it is possible to fill. Let us put 2 now, so 2 can be put here, now if we do not put here, we can possibly put 2 here also, we cannot put 2 in any of this because if you put here, it will be diagonally, so we cannot put 2 here. We can put 2 in these 2 places, then we can put 2 in these 2 places also. Now imagine like filling with 3, 4 like this, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, no condition violated. Similarly, we can put 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. So again in this case, we can fill a minimum of 4 numbers. Suppose you are allowed to make one mistake that is one pair of adjacent cells can have the same numeral what is the minimum number of different numerals required to five, fill a 5 cross 5 matrix so we will fill the matrix as we did in the previous case and try to make one mistake and see that how many numbers can we fill Now we are allowed to make one mistake, okay. So uh, now if you see the minimum number is given as 4, okay, so it should be ideally, we, it should be the answer. Now even if you make a mistake, let us say we make a 2 here, right, we made one mistake, like 2 are adjacent, so still we are able to have only 4, we can have minimum 4 numbers, we can still fill the, uh, the matrix, only one mistake and minimum possible, that is 4. Suppose all the cells adjacent to any cell must have different numerals. What is the minimum number of different numerals needed to fill a 5 cross 5 square matrix? Now adjacent cells must have different numerals. Now in this corner if you take a number there are only 3 adjacent cells. If you take somewhere here it has 5 adjacent cells. But if you take in the center it has the highest number of adjacent cells. So what we will do is, we will put a number in the center, let us say 1. Now it says all the cells adjacent must have different numerals. So we will put the other numerals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. 
Now nine could be the answer. Let us see that if we can manage with nine numbers. Okay, so uh, we have put all these numbers. We can put uh, now one here. Okay, again one is not uh, intersecting. We cannot put two, three. Let us put. Uh, let's count in the reverse manner. Then nine, eight, seven, six. We cannot put five here. So let's put uh, number two, three, four, five can be put here. We cannot put six here. So let us think putting nine. We cannot put eight here. Let us put two, three, okay, four, five. As long as we are able to put numbers, it is all fine. So this is one of the possible arrangements. We put nine, uh, one at the center, and eight adjacent cells, all different. So we have to put a minimum of nine numbers in this case. So this was the solution to the set and answers to its questions.